These are our four Cornish White Rock crossbreed broilers. We got 16 eggs in the incubator ready to hatch any minute. Wow. There's Sniff. Here's kids. They're wanting in my raised bed so bad. Y'all getting along? I had a pile drunk up. Keep them out of my raised beds. This is my... This is one of the things I've been working on these past few days. Five loads of dirt on top of three loads of broken apple branches and then another load of dirt on top of the straw and chicken poo. I got it planted. That was a lot of work. That's, oh, I don't know, three and a half by... And threes. Ah, hell, I don't know, 10 feet. And then I get, did my flower bed. I had to clever it up with junk, too. I know it looks flat, and I know it doesn't look very, like very much, but that was seven. No, six. Quit fighting over there. That was six loads of dirt. And um, then I hand cut the straw and the grass for mulching, and I planted 12 different kinds of um, wildflowers in there. Oh, I never showed you. Um, Carrie washed the porch ceiling, painted the columns, and he planted his Brussels sprouts. Doing pretty good. Um, his lemon and orange tree didn't make it, so we used these pots that we put the holes in for the um, Brussels sprouts. And then I use these old cake toppers. I got another critter on my foot. Um, I'm sorry if I'm delaying in speech. I got really tired and really hot today. I'm going to have to add some soil to this raised bed. It sunk in a lot. Anyway, my tomatoes are finally coming out of their stupor. And green onions, my peas. And the chickens got in there and killed a few before I got a chicken wire on top. My potatoes are doing awesome. Don't scratch me, you little shit. Um, I'm planning these after those are coming up bags coming up. Hopefully. I got four foot walking onions. This is only supposed to get about three feet tall, but I know those are four. Anyway, um, I got some friends to send some of those too. And my cabbages, once again, they're just, I just don't think I'm going to be able to grow cabbages. I have to find something I'll go in here that I can grow. What are you doing? Why do you keep after me? Um, my silver maples. I'm going to transplant to build a new windbreak. My sweet basil's coming up. My oregano hates me. Well, the chickens like it. And they've about killed my raspberry and mulberry. But my grapes still going, and one of my elderberries. I don't know. The kids all get along out here. It might be too dark in here now to see. We got a storm coming in. God, it finally feels so cool. It was so hot today. I swung. Like, just not with it. Anyway, where's the baby babies? Where's baby turkey? Where's Joni? Hey, kids. Where are you? Where's my babies? Baby babies, where are you? 
Huh. That's odd. I haven't seen them for most of the day. Where are they? Oh, <coughs> hiding behind the door. Okay, those are like, not the youngest youngest. <laughs> but see, that's our baby turkey, the white one. That's Joni, my house chicken. And those are two black rock. Rooster boys, Carrie bot, will be eating those when they get big enough. And uh, these are my elderlies. My adults, supposedly. They sure don't act like it. What are you doing? What are you doing hiding over there? And Miney, you're learning to get along, huh? So, I'll show you. Uh, last video I made, I showed you I'm building my enclosed garden slash maybe greenhouse. I got a little bit more done on it. Um, I gotta dig some dirt out and get that. I'm using a, I had Carrie pick me up a black trash can for my water catcher. I can use that for in the garden. And, uh, I'm using uh, pallet wood for all my forms. For the front part of this. And some old, old lumber we pulled out of the mule barn. And I pieced it together. And so, last you seen this, uh, it took five loads of broken branches, apple branches. I hand, I hand broke, and I did use the hedge trimmer on some of the bigger ones. And five loads of topsoil out of the garden. And then three loads of, or maybe it was four, of strong chicken poo. And then two loads of topsoil out of the garden again. And then I planted my green beans. And uh, it doesn't look like it, but that is a lot, a lot of poundage. Anyway, got a little bit done on that, and that was a lot of hard work, and I'll show you why. My garden was nothing but dirt clods, and I mean hard dirt clods. I, I mean, I was almost ready to cry, and Carrie's going to give me a tiller, and you know what? I don't even think a tiller would have made a dent in this stuff. Not very good. So, what I did was... I hauled out over 25, counting today's, 25 loads of dirt out of the garden with the wheelbarrow. All shoveled up by hand. And I know it looks like a graveyard, but <coughs> that ground was pretty hard. And I hosed it down to soften it up. So I could stick a Sharpie in there to plant my 300 onion sets. 100 yellow, 100 red, and 100 white. And then uh, I planted two different kinds of sweet corn. We weren't going to plant sweet corn this year, but I had the seed, so what the heck. And then I planted two different kinds of squash in these mounds. I just made mounds. I thought, I'm going to treat this like my raised bed, this dirt. It's just so hard for me. And... Um, I mean, it was hard doing what I did, just digging that and then scooping that stuff up. So as you can see, three days of work, and I still only have a third of my garden done. It's crazy. But as I was coming around the corner, I dumped a wheelbarrow on accident. I came around the corner, and I dumped it again. So then I just started just dumping that from the end rows. And that's where I planted my sugar baby watermelon and my other watermelons and some cucumbers. So, my back is screaming, but I feel like I accomplished quite a bit. And no, my rows are not straight. I just start cramming onions in there and stuff. Like I said, I'm treating it just like my raised beds. I'm going to just try to put as much food in everywhere. I don't care. What do we get to lose? It's so late in the season. I, it feels so late in the season. Who knows if it's going to grow or not? Anyway, I get to make, I'm starting to make more mounds and hopefully I can straighten that out. 
and uh, I'm just going to mound plant everything. So if we get too much water, it'll fill the grooves there. If we don't get enough, those mounds ought to hold enough moisture. Plus, I'm going to water, of course, but unless the well goes dry. So that has been my accomplishment of three days. 25 wheelbarrow fulls, and I mean full. I can't believe I did all that, honestly. I, there's so many times I just wanted to quit. My back was screaming. I just, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. I want to get to the end of the garden there. And so, all right, you all have a good night.